on the left and 19-year-old Christopher Thomas Jr. Local 10 News cameras were rolling back in October outside the Miramar Memorial Hospital emergency room. Detectives say the two victims arrived here in this 2018 Jeep, the back windshield appearing to be shot up. Both men pronounced dead moments later from gunshot wounds. Investigators telling us 20-year-old Cortland Henry drove both victims to the hospital, claiming they were victims of a drive-by shooting. 10 26 18 around 3 a.m uh i received a phone call from chris Hunt. she was with melly's mom jamie king at the time and i've called her a few times on facebook messenger you can see in in, um in in uh in a few minutes on this video and she was saying all types of shit that didn't make sense to me she actually told me not to talk to the media not to talk to detectives and if and if i did to tell them that melly wasn't there i want to ask y'all why would she tell me to tell them those people that Melly wasn't there if Melly was innocent so why couldn't I tell the police that he was there if he's if he, if he was innocent and didn't do anything why is a problem if he's there then they're gonna try to hit her and track 100k track was trying to tell me oh you know how they do a black man this is just like are they trying to use the race card talking about Moretti just trying to take a, a successful black man down man miss me with that bullshit dummies that is so false and far from the truth she didn't want she didn't want nobody to know that Melly was actually on the scene. But I'm the one that identified Chris Body, and I went down there and I seen everything and I spoke to him. And hell yeah, Melly was there. And Cortland act Cortland told us that he got shot in the arm, that he was grazed by a bullet, and his arm was fucking wrapped up in a bandage when I saw him on FaceTime that day. Man, these dudes are full of shit, and Jamie is full of that, full of it too. And she'll sit back and be like, "Oh, they don't want me to say long live Juvie or long live Sack." The victims, the family of the victims, told me that. Okay, I talked to Chris, mom. I talked to uh, um, and everybody else. So if if she didn't tell you that, and I didn't tell you that, who the fuck told you that? See, that's another spin that she's trying to portray, and that's a fucking lie. You can look on my messages. I'm gonna show you these messages that she was sending me, like she she was. Chris and she was man bitch shut the fuck up lying long my ass bitch but man y'all holler at me man I'm be dropping all types of content coming coming soon man just stay tuned fuck with your boy 510 spoon YWG with that signing off I'll get up with y'all in a little bit